In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite check down routes in Madden 21, why it's so good, and what you can learn about how to implement this into your offense. I think it should be in every single offense in Madden 21 right now. There's no excuse for it not to be, and we're going to show it to you at a bunch tight end because that's my preferred offense right now uh, but if you have you can do this out of several different formations and obviously the the you know it's very uh, it's a very deep concept now if you've never been to my channel before my name is Cody and basically what we do here is we release Madden 21 videos that are designed to help you become a better Madden player so if you're looking to get better at this game go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen Okay, guys, I'm actually pumped to dive into this with you today because um, I really think this is going to help a lot of you on the offensive side of the ball. And it's it's a, it's this. You probably going to see this, and you're going to be like, I I you know why would you why would you do a tip video on this? Because there was just a recent patch that absolutely changed the game as far as how this specific route works. And that is the block and release route. The block and release route, not to the tight end. We, we will talk a little bit about that, but we're going to really focus in on the block and release route to the running back. Uh, I think that the block and release route to the running back might be the best route in Madden right now. Um, very next close second to uh, this specific corner route. But the reason I like the block and release route is because you can literally do it against every single uh, defense. So, I want to show you man coverage. Obviously, a lot of people like to run man-to-man -man coverage. That's that's what you're going to see a lot. Um, zone coverage, it works well, and we'll show that a little bit. But I want to primarily zero in and focus in on man coverage. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put our running back on a block and release route. We're going to put our tight end on a delay fade. And then on the left side, you know, we can just do our standard flood concept over here on the left side where we smart route Chris Godwin. We put Mike Evans on an out route, and we streak Antonio Brown. This is truly one of my favorite plays in Madden right now. And what you're going to notice is, and, and we talk about this extensively in the Bunch Tight End ebook. We probably have about a 50 minute breakdown on just this play, um, showing you everything you need to know. But if you watch right here, I just want you to watch um, this linebacker right here, Redmond. He is in coverage on the running back. Now, to kind of save myself a little bit of, you know, I don't want to get instant, instant sacked, we're just going to drop coverage off here of that. Okay? Just, just to kind of show what it would look like against a max coverage man defense okay so i just want you to watch the running back so i'm just going to sit in the pocket and i just want you to watch what happens see there he goes out on him very very well the problem is that does not always happen against this against this defense what you're going to notice is sometimes especially if they pass commit some which a lot of people were going to pass commit right sometimes what happens is this 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 linebacker see that right there that's exactly what happens right there let me show you that an instant replay that's it with the pass commit that's what the pass commit what happens is the linebacker that is supposed to be guarding the, the the running back he will basically become a quarterback spy he will become a, a glorified quarterback spy you take a look here watch see this he's spying the court look at this he's spying him watch the running back release and there's nobody there is nobody in coverage and voila, wide open read, and you can go. I cannot tell you how many times that route has bailed me out of bad situations and bad progressions and really good defense for my opponent. It's just, for whatever reason, the most recent patch that they put out, they caused this linebacker to almost always do a spy, especially if the offense pass commits, right? If the offense pass commits, that's really where it becomes problematic. The problem is the offense pretty much has to pass commit. Um, otherwise, we'll be able to throw pretty much everything else. So almost always you can be guaranteed that it is very likely that they will pass commit. Okay, It is is almost guaranteed they're going to pass commit. So watch here. This is the same thing again. Watch. He comes down. And again. Now it doesn't always happen. It's not 100% of the time. Um, it probably is a little bit more effective, again, if you talk about rolling out. What I like to talk about, too, is, you know, it's all about pocket presence. So, uh, and really quickly, if you guys have any questions, you can always text me. My number's in the top left-hand corner. The full ebook on this is in the description. Um, so, again, you, you can... The reason I'm, I'm so excited about this, this route is you can pair this with almost anything. So, you can pair this with this combination right here. Or... Let's say that you wanted to run PA boot over. You could pair it like this, right? And so now you could just basically just roll out, roll out, roll out, roll out, roll out, roll out, roll out. Same type of same type of thing there. And I didn't hit it, but the same type of the same type of thing is going to happen. 
Um, mm-hmm. Now, let's say that, for example, they go to you know America's defense right now, right? The three three five wide that I've been running since June. If you want to get this defense, it's in the description as well. But um, this is one of the best defenses in the game. Now, watch who's in man coverage on the running back. The safety, and of course, I bump the tight end or the tight the timeout button, so we'll have to come back out here. But watch watch what happens here. Now, again, another thing that you want to do, and you can't I can't do it from this playbook, but the play tight end corner. Um, another little tip about these delay routes is let's say that they let's say that your running back is on a stock uh, a stock delay f- like block and release route. Those routes work even better. They're they're the same idea. They just work a little better. Another thing that you can do too is slide away, and I find this to be very effective as well for me. Slide protect away from the block and release. The reason why is because it's going to kind of mechanically trigger that that right that right side gap to be open. So anyway, here's the, here's the, they're going to blitz you. See this right here? And again, that, that time I got super shedded thanks to practice mode. But what will happen is, even if they blitz you, oftentimes, um, oftentimes that running back will get out into a route, which is really, really good. And we're going to show this just as a five-man pressure, uh, just because that's how it's normally going to be ran. Normally you're not going to get um, a seven, six, five-man. So again, we're sliding left. And then all you do is you can ID whoever the running back you can you can do different tricks with this. I think ID in the person that the running back is you think is in man coverage against him uh, does help some. But again, and, and of course we're getting instant instant pressure now thanks to Darius Smith. But that's a little bit about it um, that you can use. And again, it's so like right here, you see the linebackers in man coverage. So if I were to go to curl flat corner and run this combo right here. They pass commit and watch. See see how they kind of – they will sometimes, like I said, they'll sometimes glitch up, they sometimes won't. Um, but it, it, it happens way more often than you think. Uh, it really does. So what it does for your, your offense is it makes it really hard for the defense to run man coverage because now your tight end beats it, and now also your running back beats it, right? Again, if you're just waiting and you can just back, 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 back up – even if even if he goes out to them, you can you can complete this. Now against zone coverage, which we haven't hit on very much yet, this is phenomenal against zone coverage. It's it's actually it's better against zone than it is against man. It's just sometimes man like I can't tell you how many times I've been playing somebody and they um you know they, they maybe they're supposed to cover the running I don't know. This route just saves my life. Um, but let me just show you this here. This is against zone. You see what it does really well is it gets underneath a lot of zones because it's again it's it's a delay route. It's a it's a route that's designed to you know get underneath pretty much everything. Even if they blitz people, like let me let me send a four man pressure here just to get the running back to kind of sit back for a second. Um, and what you'll see here is again same exact thing. He's gonna sit and then he goes. And just that delay gives him a really nice little gap. It's just five yards, but it's five yards after time after time after time. So then what they're going to do, and this is another thing you'll see a lot um, from a lot of people, is they might do something like this. They'll man up their linemen. Like, this is a very popular strategy. They're going to man up their linemen onto the running back, right? That's a, that's a tip that a lot of people will do to stop this, right? So same kind of thing. Now, look. There's no one in man cut. I don't know what Savage is doing. I think he's in some zone, and for whatever reason, he ran out there. But normally, that's you know normally that's not going to happen. So I'll show you out of man coverage. So again, we might do something like this. We'll take this linebacker, um, and we'll man him up on circle, and then we'll man him up on the running back. We'll pass commit, and then we'll user this guy over here. Let's just say, and let me show you the same combination. So same exact thing, everything is the same, but just watch the lineman here. Watch, watch, watch. Wait on it, wait on it, wait on it. Now he's wide open. They, nobody's guarding him. Nobody's guarding him, and they pass committed, and they manned him up. That's what I'm talking about. And that's, again, you know, something. some different styles of man coverage is different, but this, I think, is really, really powerful. So this is out of the bunch tight end. Um, you can do it out of any formation i think it works best out of trips tight end and bunch tight end uh in my personal opinion but these block and release routes are super glitchy um especially now with the latest patch they basically changed how they play in man coverage um and honestly to make them a little bit more effective i don't know why they did it that way 
That's the way they did it. I'm telling you right now, in practice mode, it doesn't give it a, a ton of justice as far as how good this really is. Um, but if you go through and watch any of my games on my channel, you can watch anything that I've ever done. And when you back away, back away, just whatever, he will oftentimes get caught up like that right there. And it's an easy check down for you to be able to get the ball out. So if you want to get the bunch tied in offensive ebook, that link is in the description. If you have any questions about what we talked about, you can always text me. My number is 812 812- 216-3644. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys on stream tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Time.